they are months away from their wedding, and today a key piece of their future together went up in smoke. An overnight blaze in northeast London has left an engaged couple without their home. Victoria Matten with the story. There were flames coming from a home on Cayuga Crescent in Huron Heights when the fire crews arrived at 12.30 a.m. They were able to prevent the fire from traveling throughout the whole home, but this soon-to-be-married couple have lost almost everything. <laughs> Sarah Rickwood and John Pierre Moons are getting married in July. They were having a tasting for their wedding Saturday evening. It was after their family left that Sarah became suspicious. I was watching a TV and I just started smelling something weird. So I just kind of looked around the house to make sure everything was okay and I didn't notice anything. Moon says it was a neighbor that alerted his fiance that the fire was on the outside of their home. He was like, get the hell out of your house, your house is on fire, and then she came down and got me. Yeah. Moons was visibly shaken, recalling what could have happened if his fiance wasn't awake. She woke me up, pounding on my chest, get up! The couple says they were able to get out just in time, and only heard their fire alarm when they got outside. In addition to losing their home, the couple also lost the majority of things they need to prepare for their wedding. But they have family and friends surrounding them to support them during this difficult time. The pair were able to look around their home Sunday afternoon. Fire inspector Robert Barker is pegging damages over $100,000. Extensive damage to the roof of the southwest corner uh, above one bedroom. Uh, there are roof trusses and roof or rafters that have been totally burnt off. Barker has deemed the cause as undetermined. The couple are just glad they were able to get out unharmed. We're so lucky that our neighbors were hang, like awake and reacted really quickly like that. They, you know, they really made a difference. Victoria Matten, CTV News.